Bob, do something! Overwatch has a massive list of characters with unique weapons, abilities, and fantastical powers. Some that can pass as making sense, like Reinhardt just having a big hammer, or Maui just using two big fuck-off guns, but some obviously venture into the land of make-believe. But out of all of these, we also have the cowboy with a robot butler, Ash. Calling Bob into the fight, Ash has a repeater rifle, a stick of incendiary dynamite, and a double barrel shotgun as a sidearm. Something that doesn't do much damage, but puts some distance between her and her enemies. Now if you didn't know, Ash can also use this little coach gun to launch into the air. Gaining lots of height and scaling buildings with nothing but a 12 gauge pointed at the floor. So I want to figure out today. How powerful would Ash's shotgun have to be to lift her up into the air? And what would such a gun look like? Because shotguns can be powerful. Some guns have an insane kick, but no shotgun is going to send you flying through the air after being blasted into the ground. Some things to get through first. If you remember all the 8th grade science lessons from school, you should know that it takes an equal force to launch any object through the air. Take a rocket, you gotta have an equal force applied downward, not only to lift the weight of the rocket itself, but also fight against gravity at the same time. So if you find out how much force it would take to launch Ash into the air, we can use that to find out how powerful the shotgun is firing back down into the ground at the same time. So at a baseline, assuming that I remember how to do math, getting our force is as simple as F equals MA, where F is the force, M is our mass, and A is the acceleration. First, it's going to be helpful if we know the size and weight of our load. Ash, according to the internet, stands at 5 foot 9 inches tall, 175 centimeters. <laughs> From there, we can find the healthy weight of a woman at the same height, which according to the CDC is around 130 to 160 pounds. If we average that out and assume Ash is just in the center of the spectrum at 145 pounds, 65.7 kilograms, we get all the information we need to figure out how much force we need to launch Cassidy's worst enemy into the air. As well as with the acceleration, for Ash going vertically with this ability, she flies at 16 meters per second, faster than if she used it on a horizontal axis. With this, we would need 1,170 newtons of force to move Ash at exactly 1 meter per second. But we're not just going one meter. According to the Overwatch Wiki, the max distance with this ability is 9.4 meters, or about 30 feet, for the better part of the globe. So if we just multiply the force of one meter by that same multiplier, we get a total of 10,998 newton meters of force or 8,111 foot-pounds of force back into this weapon. Foot-pounds being the amount of force to move an object one foot, same with newton meters. If we convert this back into raw force, using the radius of a 12-gauge shotgun at the barrel's exit, we get a total of 594 486,000 newtons of force or 133 645,000 pounds of force. For comparison, a 10-pound, 10 10-gauge 10 shotgun generates about 62 foot-pounds of recoil, meaning that our Ashes shotgun fires roughly 130 times stronger than a 10-gauge shotgun. But that's just torque. If we move this over to the strength and raw power of it, we get our original 594,000 newtons compared to a 10-gauge's 4,540 newtons or 1,020 pounds of force. If you're unaware of how powerful this is, I don't know why you would be aware, a gorilla, like our buddy Winston here, can hit with a force of 2,700 pounds, or roughly 48.4, almost a 50th, the power of Ash's shotgun. Yes, Ash's little coach gun should be firing at 50 times the strength of Winston's little slap, which does 50 damage. So, Ash should be whipping out a downright abusive 2,500 damage per shot. Mauga, gone. Sigma, skibbidied. Cassidy, 
not only should one arm be gone, but the rest of him too. And M1 Abrams, the fucking tank, fires with about 2.4 million newtons on a shot, meaning Ash's little gun here is crapping out almost a full quarter of that. Get four of these bad boys lined up and you get, effectively, a tank cannon on the fly. Let's get these same calculations for Bastion and his grenade jump. Get our initial newton force, turn that into newton meters based on his max height, and reverse it again to get the total force behind such an explosive. Bastion weighs in as a big healthy boy at 700 pounds, 317.5 kilograms. And on a grenade jump, he'll fly through the air at 17.5 meters per second, so heavier and faster, with a slightly further max distance. Meaning, not to spoil it for you, but this is going to be a bigger number off rip. At the beginning, Bastion's initial force needed to move just one meter is 5,556 newtons. At the max distance, this is 53,671 newton meters, or 39,585 foot-pounds. Now, we're bluffing a bit, but Bastion is just totally retarded in the way that he pulls things out of nowhere, like the tank treads just appearing from nowhere. I'm gonna assume that he squeezes this grenade out that gun barrel because sci-fi magic nonsense. Because I don't know where else it would come from. We're gonna use this radius, which if we assume he's using a type of minigun caliber like the M134, we can essentially take it as 308, a civilian counterpart to the NATO round fired by the M134, and use that for our radius. This will give us a reversed Newton force of 6,863,299 Newtons, or 1,542,931 pounds of force. With our tank comparison from earlier, this would make Bastion's grenade hit nearly three times as hard as the M1 Abrams tank cannon, or 12 times as powerful as Ash's shotgun, which was already overpowered. But there's one issue here, and a big difference between the two. Bastion's grenade is not firing from the gun and instantly launching him into the air. It's put on the ground first, and then it explodes afterwards. Meaning that that powerful force is not coming from the incredibly small barrel of his handheld gun, but rather from the grenade itself, which has a radius of 0.4 meters, changing a reversed Newton force from nearly 7 million down to 134,177 Newtons. In fact, making this grenade a fourth of the strength of Ash's coach gun, because the force is widespread, reduces that total force gathered rather than having it all concentrated on one tiny point like the barrel of a 12-gauge shotgun, or even smaller on the barrel of a 7.62 NATO rifle. As much as I'd wish we could have a ridiculous batch and buff striking at pretty much 30,000 damage per grenade, as with all things, the power of math is keeping us down. So yes, Ash is the strongest member of Overwatch and would solo the 40k universe. We're done here. Wrap it up. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you're a physicist who has been screaming for the last couple of minutes, please feel free to correct the butchery of mathematical arts in this video. But otherwise, thank you for watching. Help out the channel by liking the video, subscribing, becoming a member for extra perks, or joining us on Discord to play Overwatch, Titanfall, and even UNO on Nexus Nights, a weekend show we put on live both here and on Twitch, all in the description below. Stay cool, have fun, and be awesome. And that's all on Ash's shotgun, but hey, that's just a theory. A Buster Theory! Thanks for watching.